Hi, this is Brian Farrell with Aqueous Solutions LLC, makers of the Geochemist Workbench. Today I'll show you how to create an XY plot using the data in your GSS spreadsheets. Here I have a GSS spreadsheet with sampling points from an arsenate reduction experiment. As you can see, the samples are arranged chronologically in order from the beginning of the experiment to its completion. We see initially high concentrations of the reactant species lactate, the electron donor, and arsenate, the electron acceptor. With time, the bacterium metabolizes these to form acetate and arsenite. Now in GSS, you can set marker symbols by either sample or by analyte. In a time series plot, it's mostly useful to set these by the analyte type. So I've gone ahead and used filled symbols for the reactant species. Now I'll go ahead and set the color. Black for lactate and red for arsenate. And we have open symbols for the product species. I'll follow the same color scheme. Go ahead and set these right now. Now I can move to graphs at the top and choose XY plot or time series plot in which time lapse is one of the variables. This will launch GT plot. And we can click on uh, one of these labels to edit our plot. So here I'll change the unit time unit from days to hours. On the y-axis, I might move from a log plot to linear axes. I can change the units from milligrams per kilogram to uh, millimolal units. Removing the auto scale, I can change the tick factor. Just make the plot a little bit nicer looking. I'll get rid of these uh, sample labels by unchecking uh, sample under labels here. If I'd like, I can remove the line connecting the, the points, but I'll, I'll leave them connected here. And I can move the legend around or turn that off whenever I want. But anyway, this is how you create an XY plot with uh, data in GSS. Thanks for watching.